What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our Let's Play here on the channel. We have just finished the most intense battle I have ever done in this Digimon series. We have fought bosses before that were difficult, we have fought against bosses that are, you know, annoying, hard, but the boss fight that we have just done in the last episode, if you didn't catch the last episode guys, make sure you go back and check it out because our boss fight against the main boss, I won't spoil who it was, but I guess if you have been keeping up with the last few episodes, you will know who it is. It was a really good fight, so make sure you catch that. We are going to head back to the hospital. I, as you guys can see, I have been doing some training off screen here. I'm going to get right into everything that we have, all of our Digimon, what their levels are, and some new exciting Digivolutions as well. All that will be coming back after the intro. We're going to head back to the hospital. We're going to buy some stuff, and we're going to carry on with our main story. Here we go. Alright family, let's take our little home gate or base gate or whatever the fuck it is, This the one that takes me back to my base, here we go. Because there's some stuff that we need to do. After the last fight, as I've just mentioned, it was rather strenuous and because of that we don't have any fucking items left. So before we forget about that, I'm going to do that first because knowing me, I would wander into the Digilab, I would do all the stuff that I want to show. I would show you guys all the stuff that I want to show you guys and then I'd forget about it, so... Uh, I think that was a pop-up there telling us that we now have access to uh, Erica's memory server again, I think, there. But this is the lady that I want to talk to real quick. I'm going to hide my face so that you guys can see everything that we're doing in the shop. Now, this won't be too exciting, obviously, because we've done this a million times, but I thought I'd take you guys with me. Anyway, just to kind of see, one, how much money we've got, because we have been doing a lot of grinding, as I say. And also just to show you what we're stocking up on to make sure that you guys can kind of keep up with everything that we... Uh, in fact, I was going to say everything that you guys can keep up with when we go into like boss fights and stuff, but at the same time, I also kind of want to pick up some of these because I have been doing a lot of swapping around. Normally what I do here, this is something that I do off screen because honestly it's kind of boring, but I uh, I normally just go and make sure I have like five of each and then that way if ever I need to do like a bunch of spam, like spamming or whatever, then I could just, uh, if I, I'm not even going <gasps> to... It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. I haven't. Am I in the cell? No, Again? How can one person be such an incredible dumbass? Alright, I'm not even going to cut this out. We're just going to roll with it. Alright, well, I was saying that we should be buying all of those little things that let us change our statuses, but honestly, it's not too bad at this point. We will go back and buy some more of those at, um, at Eden in the little entrance area. I've talked about that quite a few times. And honestly, we're getting to the stage where all of our Digimon are in a spot where... You know, they, they're already in the forms that they need to be in. And if they're not, then it's only one or two Digimon that are a bit abnormal. But for the most part, we've done everything that we need to in terms of moulding our guys. Again, more on that to come in just a second when we head back to our base. I'll buy just a 20, a little amount of these little special, these little small SP capsules. Just because they're good for, like, topping up after fights and stuff like that. I can spam through the menus and, uh, yeah. 500, I don't think we need any more of these. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, health HP capsules, obviously these are pretty important, but at the same time, not really because the sprays kind of take over at this point in the game. We don't need any defensive stuff, any items, attachments, blah blah blah. Alright, awesome. Let's go. We don't have a computer in our room anymore, so we actually have to use this one here. Let's pop along to the Digilab real quick, and I'm going uh, to show you guys some really kind of exciting stuff. So if we go in here, in fact, before we go in there, let's just have a look at our party real quick. So everybody is in the 90s at this point, other than a few Digimon, and uh, I'll explain some of the abnormalities that we have here. So obviously Bob is here, um, Rosemon, Seraphimon, these guys are the main players at this point, they, they form the core crux of my party if you like. We also have a Metal Seedmon who's level 84, and in all honesty he is not that powerful. When I was using him to grind and kind of practicing with him a little bit, he was very very weak. Obviously his camaraderie is shit as well, so maybe that's something that we need to look at. But the reason I still have him in the party is because we will be digivolving him very very soon, once he hits level 99 in fact. So we also have Alphamon with us, we have Omnimon, Sakuyamon's up to level 95, Gallantmon is ready to to Digivolve, I think, which is kind of exciting, or at least I think he is, and then we also have another big juicy Digivolution that we're going to do in a minute as well. We also have Gryphonmon with us, 
But honestly, I was just training him up because we had space in the party, and yeah, there's not really much to do with that now. That the most exciting Digivolution we have by far here is this one here, the Slayermon and Breakdramon combo. Now I'm gonna Digivolve Slayermon, I think, because if I go into him, I'm pretty sure we have all our requirements ready. We could, um, in fact, Breakdramon doesn't even have everything. No, he needs 100 ABI, which Slayermon Slayer does have, even though he is of lower level. We're gonna do this. We're gonna fuse with Breakdramon, which means that he will be consumed. And here we go. DNA Digivolution time, baby. Now, I have been tipped off by a cheeky little bird to tell me what this Digimon is. It wasn't recommended, but I thought we could definitely pick it up for a couple of reasons. We have our very own Examon, ladies and gentlemen. His stats are very low because he's level 1, but look at his speed. 145. Now, I know next to nothing about this guy, so everything we're about to look at in terms of his special abilities and whatnot is all completely blind to me, okay? So... His main ability is a physical attack, it does 145 damage, and he increases his ACU, evasion rate 5%, and crit by 10%. So again, that's again across all three party members who are fighting in the team. Pretty nice, kind of exciting, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure we can give him some good use. Now again, he is a data type as well, so we were talking about how we needed data types. Oh god, I didn't uh, know that I'm gonna, I was going to have to do this. Let's get rid of, let's see, Awesome Quake 1. We don't need, uh, what else? <clears throat> Normally I do this off screen because... It takes a while for me to kind of think things through, but at the same time, I usually just get rid of, you know, the level 1 abilities that I have? That's usually a good start. Macrush 2, I don't think we're ever going to use you over some of these other more powerful moves. We could also get rid of, like, Shock and stuff, because I don't think I'm ever going to use that. Even though it can be quite good to paralyze against some of these late-game bosses, there's not a chance that we're going to use that anyway. Speed Break could be quite useful, but again, I'm pretty sure we will pick up something better. Normally, what I'm finding, guys, is when you have, like, Speed Break or Defense Break or Attack Break as your main ability on a Digimon, you know when they get up to Mega, Ultra, etc., and then they get to, like, the high levels? They normally pick up the field version of this. So if you see me deleting Speed Break or Defense Break and you think, Oh, Jack, that's such a mistake. That's, like, a really good potential move to have and keep normally the Digimon will pick up the, the field version of that ability later on, you know, similar to these ones here. So that's why I'm kind of getting rid of those. Again, Attack Charge, I'm never going to use that ability in battle. I'm always going to use an item because of the 10% versus the 20. And yeah, we now have an Examon in our game, which is really, really exciting. Again, you guys can't really see him, but moving swiftly onward because I don't want to, I don't want to make this segment going longer than it needs to. Gallantmon has a Digivolution option. If you guys need a, a look at what Gallantmon is, it's obviously this guy here. And we're just going to jump straight in. Let's go. I am. Um, I thought I knew who this Digimon was going to be, but at the same time, I, it might be someone else. A lot of you guys were talking about this guy's evolves. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. Absolutely delicious. So we have Gallantmon CM, which is an absolutely fantastic looking Digimon. I mean, you know when you have the suit of armor and then the wings, it just goes hand in hand. It's absolutely amazing. Like, what a good looking Digimon. Over here, we have his main abilities. We've got a Death Pen ability, which I didn't know was the case. 10% chance of instant death as well on the enemy. And then he buffs all of his passive abilities, attack, defense, intelligence, and speed by 10%. That's absolutely nuts. Now, obviously, with these two guys, I will play about with their movesets a bit more off screen. And we will grind them up to make them stronger, but for the most part, for now, uh, we can chill. Now, because we have Fuse 2 guys there, we can bring across one more dude. I'm actually going to bring across probably Belfimon or Beelzemon. Let's bring across Beelzemon because his attack is insane. I mean, if we compare the two, Belfimon has a much, much higher amount of DPS, uh, not DPS, hit, HP and defense, okay? But then Beelzemon has a, mu a much higher speed and attack, so Beelzemon is going to be a hitter. I think he's going to be more useful for now. Um, we're going to swap him out for Griffinmon, I guess. And that'll let us carry everyone bar one person. Now, Griffinmon doesn't really need to be in the party. He was just there for level ups. I might use him later on once, once he uh, grows a bit. But for now, he's kind of weak sauce. I'm going to Digivolve Grapplemon as well, guys. And this is the last Digivolution we have. It's a hidden Digivolution. No idea what this is going to be. I kept it around in case you guys wanted to see it. I think it's going to be some form of... In fact, let's just see because I'm not going to guess. So, <laughs> alright, so this guy actually, yeah, Volcanomon, this is what this is, it's Volcanomon's Mega, Pile Volcanomon, let's have a look at this guy, so we have a physical attack, 130 damage to 140, tends to crit, and he greatly, it, it decreases evasion, but also reduces damage received, so he is like a big damage soak, which is uh, kind of cool, what a cool looking Digimon as well, he actually looks pretty sweet, now I don't know if Pile Volcanomon has a Digimon, no I don't think so, alright, awesome, so Volcanomon was obviously quite important to our series earlier on, and, uh, yeah, it looks like he's coming back. So, for the most part, that is us. We have everything we want. I don't think there's anybody we need to swap out here. We could swap out Examon and bring in 
Belfimon, but at the same time, I kind of want to uh, grow Examon a little bit. Why don't we, just for the time being, we'll put Gallopmon CM on the bench, swap him for Belfimon, and then we can go into our farm, make sure that Gallopmon's training up in the correct, in the correct department of training, and then we will be on our merry way. I know, again, <laughs> I've done a lot of chit-chatting with you guys, but I did a lot of grinding off-screen. It's just one of these parts of the episode where we want to catch back up with you guys, or I want to catch back up with you guys, show you everything that's going on. This is also interesting, guys, not to uh, side tangent too much, but Lady Devimon is also on the farm. She is growing her intelligence right now. Once that goes up to 250 intelligence, we will be able to digivolve Lady Digimon, uh, Lady Digimon, Lady Devimon into Lilithmon, which will be yet another insane virus type. Very, very strong abilities, and uh, yeah, generally really all round badass Digimon. Now over here I wanted to make Gallantmon Crimsonmon the leader because well he has he has brainy maybe not maybe that's a bad call. What is Kendall Garurumon he's nimble. Okay perfect all right for the most part took a bit of shuffling but that's us we're good to go. Now we just have to step out here jump into the computer and I think we can go along to Erica's memory server I believe so as long as our party is looking good which it definitely does yeah, I'm happy with this. This is what our final party is looking like, guys. I'm kind of pleased. We've got some familiar faces in the uh, in the sense of Seraphimon from Cyber Sleuth 1. But for the most part, we have picked up a lot of brand new Digimon as well. I mean, Rosemon, Tyrant Cabuterimon, the Examon is new, Alphamon I've never had before, Omnimon, Beelzemon Burst Mode, uh, and obviously Metal Seedramon and Belfimon are pretty familiar as well. But for the most part, yeah, we're actually using some new Digimon from the game and also going back to some of our favourites as well. So that's really, really cool. Did I save there? I don't know if I did, but I meant to. Let's go along. Now, I'm looking for Erica's memory server, which should be in here. Is it this one we're going to? I think it is, right? Yeah, it must be. Absolutely. Wait, unless we've got something new here. What's this? Oh, it's just under Kowloon level 5 and shit. That's something that we haven't done yet as well, or I haven't done yet off screen. I haven't went back and properly investigated these areas. Holy moly. Okay. <laughs> well, it looks like we came to the right place at least. This place is crawling with eaters, so inside Mem Erica's memory server we obviously have the eater nonsense going on and that is because of what happened in the last episode where Erica gets completely consumed by the ability she was using in order to help us defeat the boss of the last fight, of the last episode. I can't get through to her on this floor, so it looks like we're going to have to wander through, we might even have to fight some ears, which I hope we do. Let's keep going, there might still be an area that they haven't reached yet, awesome sauce. Now, our party is going to be hella strong, guys, against these guys. All of these random encounters that we're going to be facing, if there is any, or any eater fights that we're going to come across, I imagine that we are going to smash them into oblivion. But I needed to grind up our guys anyway for when we come across our boss fights, right? Because the last couple of boss fights have been so close. I mean, like, here fucking close. Um, and so we needed to be a bit stronger for those dudes. Again, there is a bit of an imbalance. You've heard me say this a million times, but there seems to be an imbalance sometimes where... Uh, yeah, I was going to say, do we have control yet, or are we just listening to Whispers of Erica? All right, cool. Yeah, our guys are... <laughs> there is an imbalance, sorry, where sometimes the random encounters are a lot weaker than the boss fights, and the boss fights tend to be like a stone wall of soreness. But at the same time, it's just the way the game is, I guess. And uh, yeah, we are now equipped to make sure that we can deal with that scenario if that event arises so here we go i was looking for a chance to save and although i think oh i can't even save in erica's memories all right that that solves that problem hello little pink fluffy thing that is in my way uh oh sleeping erica awoke and she does not look happy we've got some japanese singing going on which reminds me very much of tenchu from the ps1 don't know if any of you guys played tenchu back in the day or some of the PS2 versions, I don't know. Tenchu Stealth Assassins was the first Tenchu I played on PS1, and that shit was fire. Anyways, moving swiftly onwards, we have yet another thing to interact with. It's a little cuddly bear. We're back in this nice kind of artwork style of Erica's bedroom of her sleeping, what can only be in her house when she was younger. Or maybe even wherever she sleeps in hoodie, I don't know. But uh, wherever it is, it looks extremely good. Oh, <laughs> this is new. <laughs> Alright, okay, so yeah, this is Erica pre-losing her parents by the looks of things. Okay, and then she loses her parents. Shattered. The shattered existence that she lives. Uh, we're getting a bit of thigh exposure there, Erica. You might want to cover that up. Into the Mimi tea. And here we are back again. Alright, still can't save, so we're just going to keep moving. And suddenly the the happy kind of mellow music that we had before when she was at peace has a... Uh, has been reduced reduced to these kind of creepy moans and shit. I don't know, man. There's a lot of like whimpering going on, a lot of sad noises. 
what's going on here? Can I get down this, please? Thanks. More toys to click on. Are we getting some more reveals here? Here we go. <laughs> She's got a little laptop with her in the hospital. Did that be me? The nurses would be trying to look after me and I'd be like, shit, give me, give me my laptop. I need to upload now. And we're back again. So obviously in Erica's memory she has replaced herself with the Mimi tea. And obviously the Mimi tea is covered in what looks like tears and there you know there's foaming sticking out of her and it's obviously been beaten up a little bit. This obviously represents how Erica's condition is and how she feels a bit beat up, broken and stuff, which is kinda nice. Or I'm assuming that's my interpretation anyway, it could be wrong. Tell me what you guys think. But here we go. Moving swiftly onwards down the steps we go. Dude, this looks hella fun. IRL. See if this was like a little jumping thing. Holy moly. Although in saying that, I haven't done exercise in very long, so I'd probably break my leg land, trying to land down one of these jumps. Okay, so here we are. Who have we got this time? More more cuddly things. More cushies. More cuddlies. Pillows. Toys. Whatever. I don't know. Here we go. Alright, okay. So we've got some of the classic Digimon popping up here. <laughs> Erica's suddenly happy again. I like that. So, Erica surrounded by Digimon? Hmm. Interesting. Now, I'm pretty sure when, when Wormmon first appeared, did Erica even know what, like, Digimon were? I can't remember, but I'm assuming she's took some sort of comfort in these guys. Which is kind of nice. We're still going. I like how it went from happy to sad, but now it's happy again. Excuse me. Oh, whoa, what we got here? Is this a Mimi tea? The final Mimi tea. Alright, guys, and we have a choice this time. We can just click on it. Here we go. I'm excited. I don't know if... Oh, God, no, not again. It's all going to shit. I'm not going to turn my webcam off again. I've done it too many times. It's like a disco in here. we got a bit of the uh, distorted sound effects here right now. This is the game, by the way. That's not the, the conversion audio. The happy, mellow, upbeat music gets terminated once again. Knock at the door. Damn, son. Somebody pulling her out of her abyss. Get him. Get him, son. Oh. Interesting. I don't know who that's supposed to be, that hand. Because I don't think it would be Ruigi. That's not the kind of hand you'd give your sister, I don't think. This area looks clear. Alright. Uh oh. One one sense something. Here we go. I thought we were going to have some sort of fight in here. We have to protect this area. Take it out. Here we go. So we get some. Uh, we get to see some action for the first time this ep. We got a double fight. We've got a little slug, and we've got one of the tall walkie guys. I'm pretty sure they have proper noises. Get the fuck out of here with your fucking texture nonsense BS. All right, Seraphimon. Although you don't have penetrating attacks, you do have an AOE. Let's see how much DPS we can do here. Level 93. Not too much damage, alright. So it looks like our Tyrant Cabaderimon and Rosemon are going to have to carry this. Maybe we could even consider swapping out Seraphimon. Now, I think, based on the texture blows, we could actually use Sakuyamon in this fight. Now, I don't know if this is a mistake, right? But I'm going to try it anyway. Sakuyamon has... Or, I think she does. Maybe it's someone else. Uh, let me just check in a minute. Tyrant Cabaderimon is in his small mode right now. So, for the time being, I am going to recovery. Let's use a sprite recovery. We have 18 of these. So assuming that we're going to come across more fights like this, we maybe need to ration our abilities, or, or our items at least, because I, I only have a certain amount of those. I'm pretty sure Sakuyamon has an ability that can remove debuffs on us, and I don't know if that's just... It might just be... Let's have a look and see in a minute. Okay, Shina B, that is AoE. Do I want to use that right now? We could speed charge fuel. Let's do this first. I think this will benefit us in the long run, because obviously if we do use Tyrant Cabotarimon's main ability right now, he will... Uh, yeah, prevents abnormal statuses on one ally. Let's do this. I don't know if this is worthwhile, but we could definitely put one of these on Rosemon, and maybe this will protect her from getting turned into a little tiny schlump. Uh, here, I think we'll take it the this, this guy first, because 9 times out of 10, these are a lot weaker. 542, that's exactly what we want. And now, hopefully, even if this hits Rosemon, it will protect her. It misses Tarek Cabaterimon anyway. Looks like we're just going to clean house with these guys. I don't think we have to put too much more effort into this battle. Let's see. We would stay as barrier Tyrant Cabaterimon. Just to find out if this actually does work. Again, I'm pretty sure Shiny B is actually going to destroy this guy straight off the bat anyway. So if this doesn't kill him, we might get a chance to find out. 
But, oh, 445, that actually didn't do as much. Here we go. Hit Sukuyamon. On it. <laughs> Obviously, the one guy in the party who doesn't have the buff on them, but that's just classic. That's just typical, isn't it? Here we go, 548, so the big guy is got obviously going to put up much more of a fight than the others. Let's see. I don't know if we want to bring back Sakuyamon or if we just leave her in this mode. I think the other guys have enough to carry this fight alone, so maybe I'll just uh, hold on to some more of our items here. Honestly, it won't make the fight go too much slower because Sakuyamon doesn't do that much damage against this guy anyway. And although it might be nice to remove his buffs, oh, she's back anyway. Alright, that was nice. We could status barrier herself as well. Rather than take away his debuffs. I think we'll just do this. See how we get on. Tank Capitanimon misses his turn. Obviously. And then Rosemon's up as well. Now I could keep trying to poison this guy. But honestly I don't think there's a point. Even if he could be poisoned. We're probably going to kill him in a few turns anyway. So pushing the 500 damage is probably a lot more worthwhile. Here's Milk Processor. What's this going to do? Hits Sakuyamon. Doesn't do a lot of damage. Alright nice. This time we will remove his buff. Take away his intelligence. And leave him with the debuff. Which is pretty funny. And Tyrant is up again. Now, we could just keep buffing or we could just keep using abilities. I think we just keep pushing this, honestly. It's a bit annoying that we miss a turn in a few turns again, but at the same time, it doesn't really matter. I don't think this guy has any chance in hell of killing any of our guys, never mind wiping our party or whatever, so we're just going to grind through him as quickly as possible, I think. Let's see. Sakuyamon is very strange, guys, because she uh, she fits into the party in quite an interesting way. She is another one of these Digimon which we keep along, obviously not to tank, because her HP is very small. She has two HP items on her, by the way, just if you guys didn't know that. I have put two HP items on Sakuyamon to keep her alive. She doesn't have a she doesn't have any tanking abilities. She doesn't have any insane damage. She is just specifically there for her ultimate and to remove debuffs from the enemy and I guess also protect our party with some heals and also status barriers as well which is a uh, it's kind of like I like that I like that we have Digimon who obviously fit different parts of our squad do different things she has very very a very high speed stat which is really good so it means that when she is healing when she is protecting I mean you can see her kind of popping up more frequently than the other two she does it very quickly which is very nice now the only thing I don't I, I'm kind of annoyed about is that I'm pretty sure in Cyber Sleuth 1 with Sukuyamon we actually had a speed field buff and we don't have that with her this time around I think she does have she maybe has one field buff like for like intelligence or something like that but it's not really that not really that exciting Jeez, alright, so for that, that shitty little eater fight, we pick up a memory up DX, manage to handle that, no problems at all, so that feels really good. And we get 8,000 XP as well, in case any of you guys were bothered. Xmon goes up 17 levels. We could be putting some Tactician USB on some of our guys at this point, on some of our Digimon, rather than just grinding off screen. But at the same time, I feel like we're already strong enough to beat this game, so I don't want to like make it super, super easy, if that makes sense. Maybe we're already past that point anyway, I'm not sure. Maybe maybe not. Maybe we'll go into the next boss fight and get our asses absolutely kicked, so who knows. Erica, can you hear me, says one one. Is this Erica here? Have we actually managed to save her? That, sing that seems a lot easier than uh, than expected. Ooh, got a cutscene here. Erica's flying through the sky like a ginormous eater air balloon. It's kind of weird, not going to lie. Dude, that can't be good for her neck, right? Holy shit. Erica's lucky she is a small person because if she was a... A little chubster. That would be... Uh, she'd, she'd probably just pop right off there. Anyways, Erica. Where am I? An eater. Eater. Don't touch it. Don't. Erica's like, I want to poke it while it's dead. Are you saying something? Can't find... What are you looking for? So here we go. This is kind of interesting. We. I don't think we have ever spoken to an eater before. They're normally just mindless fucking... Here we go. Digital world. I want to go... It's you. A <laughs> warm one. So we're shouting through to her. I'm accessing you through your memory server. Here we go. I wouldn't say I'm okay. The eater that assimilated me is on a rampage. I think it's trying to go to the digital world. What can I do? It's my fault. My mental data has, do has done this. Me. Calm down, Erica. We'll help. Where is it now? Uh, two feet to my left here and uh, it might wake up at any time. I'm not sure, but it's probably heading to the junction between Eden and the digital world. The junction at Junk Plaza is the only way to get to the Mother Eater, but there's no way that a large volume of data could get through. Eden will be done for. Alright, so at least we know where it's heading. Uh oh, are we getting disconnected? What's happening? Why are we getting disconnected? Are we going to have to fight something again? I lost connection. The eaters have thrown the digital wave into chaos or the digital waves. Erica said that they're on a rampage and it's her fault. What does she mean? Alright, <laughs> dude, I'm excited, man. I'm, I'm liking this. 
<laughs> it's this Erica's memory. I'm just thinking about the next couple of fights and whether they're going to be really tricky or not. I don't know. I like this. It's good. Although, no, in this game. We're going to finish this in about five minutes and then we're going to have to do some side quests. Who knows? So tell me more details then maybe I'll believe you. Okay, where should I start? Well, what is the Beach of Lynx like? What is the Beach of Lynx like? At the Beach of Lynx, all sort of things get washed up uh, from the Elomag... <laughs> Elo... Tron electromagnetic words. It's early in the morning, guys. Bear with me. Strange looking boxes and sometimes buildings. Near the beach is a forest that stretches to a valley of building. In that forest, there's... It looks like you don't believe a word I'm saying. I'm describing it as best I can. The more you describe it, the more unbelievable it sounds, says Erica. <laughs> but Wormon doesn't look very angry. Obviously, I think Wormon is describing the digital world, which is insane. I, I've said this uh, very recently, but I wish we could have gone there more often in this game. <laughs> Just kidding. I was also talking to my friend about another concept that I'll talk to you guys about in a minute as well. Which was uh, interesting, but it's not really relevant to what's happening right now. Come to the digital world with me. I mean, Hoodie is a hacker team, right? Imagine how awesome it would be if such an amazing hacker team went to the digital world. Even if I wanted to go, no one knows where it is, says Erica. We just haven't found a way back yet, but I'm sure we'll find it one day. The digital world really does exist after all, says one one. So he's trying his best to convince her. I'm sure it would be great if we could find it. Yeah, and I can show you around. And if a Skidigimon shows up, you'll protect me, won't you? I mean, it depends. We could probably fight with, like, a Tanamon or something. I don't know if Erica could fight a Skull Greymon. Here we go. Boom. It would be amazing if I could really do that one day. Yeah. Guys, the concept I was talking about with my friend earlier is imagine and this is never this is never gonna be a possibility, but imagine they made like they made like a like an adult kind of rated Digimon game in which you were just dumpstered in the middle of the Digimon world and it was like Digimon World One, but like I don't know. <laughs> Maybe some of you guys wouldn't be into this, but imagine if it was like like quite brutal, you know, like quite Again, not really for kids. It would be a Digimon game, but not for kids. I don't know if that's a possibility. I mean, even the words coming out of my mouth, I'm like, Jack, what the fuck are you talking about? But imagine you went into, like, the digital island forest and you started there with your Digimon and you just had to survive. That shit would be insane, man. Imagine the Digimon are coming at you covered in blood and shit. I don't know. Again, maybe maybe this doesn't appeal to everyone, but if they, if they brought it something like that, I know for a fact that I would fucking snap that shit up immediately. Going to an unknown world. I'm, I'm just thinking of like the let's plays and shit we could do. Maybe we will, maybe we'll leave this discussion for another video because, anyways, I'm interrupting Erica. But food for thought. Going to an underground world, seeing things no one's ever seen before, meeting new people. I haven't even fully come to grips with this world yet, but I'd still love to go on an adventure in the digital world. Now I really want to go there. There you go, guys. Bandai Namco, if you're listening, make an adult-rated or an X-rated or whatever fucking R-rated Digimon game in which. Erica goes to the digital world by herself and takes Worm on. You start with the rookie, you have to survive. Digimon kill you left and right. They're covered in blood. Make it happen. I can't go. I can't even mention such things, says Erica. <laughs> After everything I've put my brother through, I have no right to talk this way. An adventure in the digital world, seeing new things. I shouldn't say things like that. Erica, you're allowed to think whatever you want, pal. Maybe just don't express them in the same way Jack expresses his inner thoughts. Because then everybody will know you're a fool. Here we go. That memory affected the ear. She wanted to go to the digital world, so now the eater wants to do the same thing. Ah, so there we go. Bit of uh, end exploration there. Because Erica has a desire, the eater is then doing the same. And uh, it's probably going to fuck you up. Alarms going off normally means that we have a boss fight. But maybe not. Maybe we're just uh, being indicated the fact that Erica is slowly getting to the digital world. We know for a fact that Junk Plaza here, or Galactic Park, is actually the connection jump. They can get through this into the digital world. Looks like the door's too small for the eater, so she's just going to fucking ram her way through, which is pretty hilarious. <sighs> Deedy me. Can you get through? Eater, stop. You can't fit through here. <laughs> You'll erode everything around it, says Erica. Want, go, digital world. Dude, this is like me when I'm hungry. <laughs> Want, go. Just whatever anybody else says, I'm just like, shut up. I'm going. Walk directly to my favourite restaurant. No money. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> Sorry. If that year doesn't stop, even more of Eden, Eden will be eroded. <laughs> Everyone in Eden will be in danger. I'm laughing, and this is like a really serious point in the game. What am I doing? <laughs> I just can't. I'm such an idiot, man. I'm just. We're having. We're having memes today. This is funny. What? Something's not right. This morning. The server. It's been eroded. No. Oh shit. Erica's voice. Get the fuck out of here. Get get your asses out, or you're gonna be stuck. Shit, son. Oh wow. Luckily, Wormon lands on a bed, which is good. We warp back out of the laptop. Even though we didn't go in through this computer, 
Anyways, user has been forced to log out, unable to access Eden. Maybe we were maybe we were meant to enter through our hospital room. I don't know. It was Erica. She saved us. What can we do now? This is bad. You heard what she said before. We were forced out of Eden. Eden has been eroded by eaters. Oh god. No way. How does one more know that immediately, man? Yes, we will save our game. Dude, shit's going down, son. Bash in this little file. No, I don't want to overwrite it twice. Here we go. Reggie, my boy, what's up? You ready to fight yet? Chitose. Reggie. Hey, says so Chitose. I guess these guys have a lot to uh, talk about, so maybe this is going to be interesting. You know what you did, but I'm not exactly in a position to find fault with other people, says Chitose. Anyhow, I'm a walking miracle. <laughs> the first person ever to be cured of Eden Syndrome. I know what he's trying to say there, but the way he said it was kind of funny. I hope the fame doesn't go to my head. Who knows, maybe we'll make a documentary about me. Chitose am I, the miracle man. <laughs> Obviously, he's doing his best to try and cheer Reiji up here. They do tests on me every day, but at least the nurse is cute, so it's not bad at all. They've done so much for us. Some big brothers we are. I don't know if that was a thing. To, I don't know if that was a thing to say, Chitose. I don't know if I had the courage to say that to Reiji. Although saying that, he does seem to appreciate. Hmm, he says, Chitose. Is this going to be a heartfelt apology? Yeah. I'm sorry, says Reiji. I don't think Chitose is the kind of guy that would hold a grudge. Don't worry about it. There we go. Friends are friends again. Good. I'm glad they put that in there. Matayoshi. What, is he just listening outside like a big weird ass? What the fuck? Has he just been there like all day waiting on that moment to happen? What if that apology took like two hours to happen? What if they were talking about like the weather and shit? And Matayoshi's there like the whole time like, oh, my old back. Anyways. Oh no, Erica, something's happened. Here we go. So we'll fill these guys in. Obviously, Reggie's going to do his big face that he always does. I don't know why I just, I just did that, but it happened. Damn, it doesn't matter what I can do. I can't log in. I've never seen such a major error. I don't get it. How did this happen? Uh, the Rampaging Eater bits assimilated Erica and changed it into something different, says one one. I'll call them the Eater Legion for now. I think that's what they would have been called if Erica was able to finish her modifications. It doesn't matter what they're called, says Chitose. Can I agree with that? So, Erica's not the only one that's been eroded by the Eater Legion. Now it's started to erode Eden itself. Erica said that the Eaters went through the junction in Eden and tried to get to the digital world, blah blah blah, but it couldn't get through, and that's what caused the problem. There's no sign that the number of Eden Syndrome patients has increased. Maybe she saved the other users as well. I hate to say this, but she needs to think about herself sometimes. So Erica doing her best to make sure that the other people aren't jeopardised. What the? What's wrong with those two? Who two? Who? Who? Who, who is he talking about? He's talking about Reggie? <laughs> Reggie's like, I'm going. See you later. Try and stop me. What are you doing? I've made up my mind. I'm going to save Erica. Oh my god, somebody get Reggie a wheelchair and a handgun. Make him useful. And if you get yourself killed in the process, do you think for a second you're just as stubborn as your sister? Back me up on this. I, I don't know. I kind of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, let's go. I want to save Erica too. We should do it together. All right, so I don't know. Do we have an option here? I think Reggie's coming regardless. I want to save Erica too. Sure. Oh, yeah, we're getting the music. Yes, yeah, son. What are you doing? Don't encourage him, says Jutose. A hacker always repays his debts. You promised Erica you get hoodie back. I'm having second thoughts about an all male team. <laughs> what? What? Oh, that's such a funny line. Hey, let's let's. Oh, I'm so tempted. You promised Erica you want you want to get hoodie back. Yeah, sounds fair. You know that won't change my mind. Guess Jatosi's just gonna have to admit it. He's coming as well. Fine, have it your way. Here we go. You coming? There's no time to waste, Jatosi. Alright boys, let's go. Let's roll out. I feel like I'm spoiling this. <laughs> and then one one pops in. The music cuts out. Is your show over now? He's done. Are we ready to actually get dressed and go as real human beings? <laughs> We're just like, what the fuck? Why did you have to put a damper on things? We're having a moment. It was painful to watch this one one like a scene from a bad movie. Dude, I don't know, man. I was kind of liking it. <laughs> but I'm glad to see you're all getting along and uh, if I'm happy, Erica will be happy too. Hopefully she'll be able to see it for herself. Hoodie is back now for a strategy meeting. Oh god, that can only mean one thing. You've kept the team together so far, you can be in charge. We want you to be the leader, just for now. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, we have been doing like 99% of the heavy lifting so far in Hoodie, so... I mean, we could probably do a bit more. 
here we go. Let's start by going over what we know. We need to log in Eden before we can save Erica. Yeah, but we can't access Eden in the usual way. We'll have to find another way. Let's contact Yuko. Nice. Any chapters with Yuko in them, I'm happy. I thought that was Yuko going to walk in there, but obviously it's just a... Sorry to intrude. How are you feeling, Rigi? Oh, hello there. <laughs> oh, hello there. <laughs> Date suddenly like, oh, just Rigi, you're, you're doing all right. I nearly said she told that would have been a bit weird. <laughs> She's bouncing between them like a fucking... Ping pong match. It's it's nice of you to pay me a visit after all, even after the trouble I caused. Not not that often. Don't look at me in that way. She's been here quite a few times this Rigi. Oh <laughs> guys, what's been going on behind the scenes here? Shut your mouth. One more word and I'll place you under arrest. I've just come to inquire about the hoodie explosion. Yeah, whatever. Dude, why is she popping her hip out like that? Faye walks in as well. Dude, our date and uh Dane Rigi are obviously gonna hook up hook up. What about Rigi and Faye? Then again, um Faye's kind of got her own thing going on with, with Yuko, I guess. It's kind of not possible. And what vibe am I picking up? Surely that's all the pa in the past now. The two of you had a major fight, but Faye and I are still alright. It was more than just a fight. I almost died. So obviously there is confrontation here between Faye and Rigi. Not only that, he went after Yugo. Yuko, I can only forgive him. He's, I can't forgive him so easily. So you're back here for revenge, blah, blah, blah. So these guys are going to tussle out. We're going to get in the middle and say, right, listen, guys, would you just calm your fucking jets? We've got a, a young Erica to save here. Rigi isn't fully to blame. Chitose almost died too. Grow up, you're just as bad. I mean, uh, I guess we'll pick this one. Rigi was kind of half possessed. We'll give him some uh, some credit here. Yeah, Rigi may have done some terrible things, but he was being controlled. Come on, Wormon. That's what I just said, bro. That that apology doesn't change anything. Whatever. I didn't come here to have things out with you. Oh, dude, Faye, you come with us? Yeah, Sam, we could totally use a Tiger Vespon and his speed charge fields in the party. Don't get the wrong idea. I haven't forgiven you. Blah blah blah. You could told me to get uh, to let it go. <laughs> I'm just doing what she said. You're lucky she's so forgiven. So we get a bit of a amends making here with Faye and Rigi, which is good. We've got the the upbeat music going. I only came to draw a line under or uh, a line under things. Now that I've done that, I'm going. All right, Faye, take care. Hey, hold on. We wanted to ask you something. What did we want to ask her? Aiden's been eroded by monsters. Okay. I guess we are uh, asking Faye about getting in contact with Yuko. She's offline. Uh, she's off dealing with the strange things that have been happening. We can't disturb her. I'll help you out instead. So obviously Yuko is involved with Cyber Sleuth 1 and all the happenings in that fight. Faye's going to instead be the one that looks after us. If you can't log into, or if you can log into Eden and eliminate the eater causing the erosion, everything should go back to normal, right? That's what we hope. All right, nice. I guess that could work. Have you got an idea? The underground. Ah, right, so we're going back in via the uh, the underpass, right? That's cool. So Faye's going to give us the key that's going to let us through the door. We can't underpass. All right, so at least we know where we're going. World's facing danger. Monsters on the rampage. I won't pretend I understand everything that's going on, but I'll do whatever I can. All right, Dave, we like that. Everybody's on board now. <laughs> I like how we're covering up Rigi's face. Completely unintentional, of course. All right. Party's ready, and here we are. Chapter 18, Our Memories. Boom, the yada. We get there, boys and girls. Whew. It's been a long road, but we ain't done yet. Got a little bit left to go. And somebody was listening outside. I'm trying to figure out. That must have been you, right? That was you, Shoes? And there is a trophy there, guys. Our Memories. Whew. Exciting times. So, I'm not exactly sure where we're going directly. I guess we can go down to the exit area. If we go down to the lobby, and if we go to the map screen, it's probably going to tell us to go to the underpass. Or, in fact, we've actually been there before already, haven't we? So, let's see. We're not going to end our episode just yet. I'm going to go into the Digilab heal up. And when we're in here, we can talk to Miri as well, and make sure that it is the uh, that is the right place that we're going. I actually think that that Digiline that pop up might have just been that our some of our farms are done, which they are. Dark Guard, blah, blah, blah. I'm still looking for more Tactician USBs, guys. So, if you see me doing a bunch of development here it's because i want to get as many tactician usbs as i can we have only got three so far and none of those have been from developing i think i'm doing the right development cost you guys can let me know i'm pretty sure this is the correct one or at least it was in cyber sleuth one if you need this one for tactician U usbs and they've changed it i wouldn't be surprised but if you guys have had success with the middle option confirm that for me if you can and i would appreciate that Miri, look at that um Accessing Eden might be tough. Go to the Nakano underpass. All right, so before we wrap up our episode, I actually want to head along here and make sure 
that uh, well I want to introduce us to the next part of the game basically because I don't want to start and end the episode in the hospital because that shit would be boring as all balls so let's go along here the can on the past the last time we were down here was with the Mr. Navit quest and he disappeared I'm pretty sure that was a uh, the Mr. Navit head le left on the ground or some shit <laughs> now in this area as well there has actually oh that's really cool that, that might be the thumbnail right there who knows? Whoa, this is a uh, real. This is really weird. Are you sure it's safe to go through, says Chitose? Yeah, we'll be fine, but be ready for battle. Yeah, dude, we know. We've been here a couple of times. What I was going to say is the last time... Oh, God, we've got a fade day interaction here. The last time we came in here, there was actually a victory at Uchida hiding just be behind the entrance. So I'm going to check just on the off chance that they put him there again. Date says, you jumped up a little. I'm a senior, off I'm a senior officer. I've had enough of this. You and me outside now. Oh, dude, please fight. That's enough messing around, let's go. Yeah, Reggie, taking the taking the charge here. Tss, I'm done with you yet, yeah, or I ain't done with you. Why are you getting so worked up about, says Faye? I like that interaction because obviously we have two very headstrong females in the group there. And uh, it's nice to know that neither takes the other shit, which is quite good. I like that. Day and Faye. Very, very dangerous. I think it's too late for that. Your personality is almost exactly the same as Erica's, isn't it, Wolfie? Uh, I, I mean, yeah, we're our protagonist is quite similar to Erica. All right, so here we are. Let's see. Do we have anybody down here? He was right. Oh, I guess. I guess they replaced it with this chest. So, guys, I'm going to wrap up our episode here. I'm going to put on acceleration for when we come back. I will not put on high security because we want to encounter the first couple of battles and make sure we are picking up anything new that's happening in this area. We have actually been here earlier on in the game. I can't remember what it was for. I, I said a minute ago we've been down here for the, the Mr. Navit stuff, but I'm pretty sure I've been running through these tunnels before now because that box obviously was open. But anyways, we are going to pick up here when we come back. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. There was a lot of uh, more story-driven stuff and a tiny little year battle in the middle. Luckily, or unluckily, I guess, whatever way you... you you look at it we haven't been able to fully show off our party just yet so hopefully we'll get a chance to do that moving forward into the next episode where we will be picking off in the underpass so thanks for watching guys let me know all your thoughts leave me a rating if you enjoyed the episode and i will see you tomorrow bye bye